Hello Puppet fans, and welcome to this lecture. In this section we will declare the Tomcat classes in init.pp class. In previous lecture we have configured the Tomcat to install and start the Tomcat services. Via install.pp and service.pp classes. Now in this lecture we will move the Tomcat classes in init.pp file so that we don't have to add all the classes into our node definition. And we also don't want to add same classes multiple times for different nodes in node definition. So let's look at the example of node definition, if I have to add the another node in node.pp and have to assign classes, I have to do it like node 1 to include all classes and have to repeat for any new node. So instead of assigning the classes multiple times in node definition add only module name is given in this screenshot. This way you'll add only module name. And if a required class also. But this output looks much clean short and more readable compared to including classes every time. Now where we will have these classes if we will not specify in node definition. We will have the classes in modules in it.pp files so we will declare the all the classes in module itself and will assign only the module to node definition not classes. In this lab we will move the tomcat classes to in it.pp file. So copy the classes from node definition for tomcat. And edit in it.pp file. Add entries. Class Tomcat Include Tomcat install Include Tomcat service And save the file Now edit node.pp file and remove the Tomcat classes so only Tomcat module should be there not classes Save the file So now we have declared the classes in init.pp file and node.pp have only tomcat module entry. So let's verify it by removing the existing tomcat package. Using command yum remove tomcat. Once done run puppet agent hyphen hyphen t to verify. If node is able to get the catalog after declaring classes in init.pp. And you can see node 1 was able to get the catalog successfully and Tomcat will get installed in node 1. Okay, so in this section we have declared the Tomcat classes in init.pp class. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture to configure Tomcat config file.